Hey, it's LJ back with another NK Telco Tech Tip. Today I'm with General Manager Preston Meyer, and today we are talking about the fiber build out in New Knoxville, New Bremen, and Minster, uh, which is pretty much a wrap up of, I would say, first phase of your fiber yeah. network. Actually, pretty exciting, LJ. You know, we've built uh, 10 markets in the last, since 1996, and the first three markets we built were New Knoxville, New Bremen, and Minster of which we built those with coax, you know, for a broadband system. Right. Uh, in its infancy, cable modems were the first full period data modem that we could put in a residential environment. And so that was cutting edge at the time. But, you know, that was 1996, 97 in that era. Now we've built fiber to the home around a whole regional network and we're back to New Bremen, Minster, New Knoxville, rebuilding it with fiber so we can start offering gigabit speeds. And explain to me what uh, benefit a gigabit speed would do to an entire community or to a home for that matter. Well, at this particular time, the, the, the need for gigabit really hasn't arrived. Okay. But the buzz term in the in industry is gigabit. Um, you know, if, if a customer has 100 meg, he can do his gaming, he can do, uh, you know, he can live a full life. As streaming. I put it. Yeah, yeah, streaming and all that. And he can have people at his house and the Wi-Fi connection will work. And all the people who are in the house will be able to use it. But as time goes on and smart technology rolls into the TVs, into the appliances, into the security systems and the lawn sprinklers and all that kind of stuff, right. everything's going to use a connection. So we're building that backbone or we're building that infrastructure so that five years from now when autonomous cars are out and people are you know watch them go by and they're hooked up to some signal yeah. that we've got the network in place in these communities that's already there for them to use which is pretty amazing when you take a look at our smaller our smaller communities what's been made available to them and what's available to them today is pretty pretty outstanding Tell me a little bit about this award that uh, NK Telco and its communities received recently. Well, the broadband, uh, the National uh, Telecommunications Broadband Association actually is made up of 1,300 independent telephone companies like ourselves, like New Knoxville Telephone Company. Okay. And it's a national organization representing the independent uh, telephone market in, in the United States. And um, this year we were selected as one of the companies that was recognized for building smart rural communities right. and there's 65 of them now in the United States and we're we're proud to be one of those 65 that have been acknowledged and for our efforts of building that infrastructure um, you know and we've done it uh, as a private company or it's a we're a public company but basically as a, on our own uh, on our own platform gotcha yeah. So the um, just to, to uh, feed a little information to them, uh, build out of these last three communities, um, and I believe Rushi is also being finished up as well. Yeah, Rushi is. Uh, we're adding that market. Uh, it 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 will come online about in January, um, in, in that, and that's a brand new market. So right. we just decided that you know we've got a lot of assets down in in Shelby County. And uh, Rushi is a good market. We've had wireless uh, internet there for years. And so we thought, you know, we've got enough customer base. Let's bring Rushi on into the fold in that regional network. Gotcha. Um, you know, another community in the future probably be Jackson Center. Mm -hmm. You know, it just kind of makes a fit um, in the regional area. So uh, we have plans to bring that online, uh, hopefully in 19. But in, in 2019, we hope to get the bulk of New Bremen, Minster, and New Knoxville finished as well. New Knoxville, we got a good start on it early this spring. We've got about 75% of the infrastructure of the conduit in the ground done. Mm -hmm. uh, New Bremen and Minster, we started off, we've got our, our physical uh, splicing facility is out by the water tower uh, on Amsterdam. Right. And so uh, from there, we're going down in Minster to the McDonald's and picking up the new subdivision that's going, the housing development that's being installed. And in, in New Bremen, we're going down as far as uh, the First National Bank, and that's phase one. Okay. So anything uh, east and west and north and south of the, of the water tower to those points, we're going to try to finish that up by the first of the year. The infrastructure. Right. Then comes the phase of the fiber spliced, 
then what do we do? Well, we have to bury fiber drops to every house, and we know that's going to be a tedious job. We know that, that you know, in, in, 19, in the 1980s and, you know, prior, uh, when I first started here, when you went through somebody's yard, um, a lot of people didn't spend a lot of time manicuring their yards. We know today that people put a lot of time and effort in their yards, and so we're working with our own staff to uh, try to uh, train our employees that we respect the yards when we go through them. Mm -hmm. We communicate to the people as we as we get ready. We have door hangers to let you know when we're going to be in the neighborhood putting in drops. We want to have that conversation so that we do the best job we can and make it as painless on every person that is a customer of ours, which is almost all of them, right. uh, so that they know that, that our efforts are there to respect their properties. Good. And it's minimally invasive as we, as we go along. We get better at, at doing this. Very similar to putting in a dog fence, uh, you know, a little bigger equipment. So, you know, he could call me out on that. You know, I could exaggerate just a little. But, but really, we plow the drop in, and uh, if you get a few rains on it, the, the, the line that's left in the yard will go away. We'll reseed the, the areas where we have to hand dig and open the ground up. But otherwise, uh, for the most part, you go through one season, a fall or a spring, and after that, you don't realize that we've been there. And you have fiber connected to and your you house. have fiber to your home. So now you have that ultimate connection. Well, fantastic. Uh, General Manager Preston Meyer, talking a little bit about our fiber connection, our fiber network. We'll be uh, definitely talking a lot more as we have a lot of new products and exciting things that are going we on. Do. We do. There's a lot of things going on, and there's a lot of technology that, that is being tested, and, and it's experimental at this point. But um, in the next couple of years, there will be exciting times in the technology fields and, and what's going to become automated and so on and so forth. So it's, it's a good time to, to install fiber. And at that point, when we finish up New Knoxville, New Bremen, and Minster, our whole network will be a full fiber network that is, has transitioned from the old copper network of yeah. 1.5 megabits maximum speed yeah. to we're up to gigabit. Awesome. So it's exciting. Stay tuned next week for some more Tech Talk here with NK Telco.